Okay, so <clears throat> now this is for when you're doing Miltern and you want to basically engrave text on a cylinder. It's a little bit easier to do in milling, but this is strictly for mill turns is the only way I've found it to work well. So uh, first thing we're going to do is start a sketch. We're going to make a cylinder. We're going to make it an inch and a half. Uh, let's make it extrude it out two inches. Okay. And then we, what we need to do now is uh, create our text um, that we want to engrave on the cylinder. So uh, it's pretty common to do this, but uh, create a plane. We want to do uh, uh, tangent to the surface and parallel the plane. So just click that. Click the cylinder. I just go over here to origin, just pick up plane. So now we got a now we have a uh, plane just tangent to the surface. So we'll create a new sketch here. Now I already used, I already made a DXF of a, of a font, just a line font. Um, I use this program here. Uh, it's called Stick Font. You can just download it, it's free. It works pretty good. You just uh, basically type in here uh, text height, and then you can just save it as a DXF. And then once you do that, you save it, put it in a folder. You can just go here, click on uh, uh, ACAD, and then you can hit open, open that, uh, that DXF. Now, when you're using that stick font, it makes it all just one continuous line. So what we'll do is um, we'll break this up. So it's, let's go ahead and engrave it in that direction on the cylinder. So let's orientate this so we can put this in the two separate lines here. So I'm just going to move that. Uh, let's see, we'll put it like right there. And then let's move this whole thing just probably like right in the middle of this pretty close. Anyways, right there. Hit done. Okay, go ahead and finish your sketch now. So now we got that. So let's go ahead and um, set up our cam so set up uh we're gonna do mill turn z rotary axis stock we're just gonna say from solid because yeah uh we're not gonna post it right now uh, so just go ahead and hit okay there we go super simple this took me a little bit to figure out so you do a 2d contour and you do you pick your tool. I'm just going to use a little ball, like a one thirty second ball. Okay, whatever. Uh, our, this doesn't matter. Uh, so now we're going to do wrap toolpath, and then select this, and then contours. Okay, so this is normally when you mess up. So if we go in and actually select these contours individually, it's it's going to break it. It's not going to work. So the only way I found that to work is go back to your model and just select your sketch. Okay, you got to select the sketch because if you select the lines individually, I found it not to work. Okay, heights, it doesn't really matter right now. And then change your compensation to off. And then make sure you turn off your lead-ins and lead-outs. Okay. There you go. And then let's clean it up. Let's go and make these invisible. Uh, visible. Go back to cam and let's simulate this. Uh, let's use uh, operation. Okay, so you see how it's not engraving it, so that's an easy fix. So all you gotta do is come here and just do stock the leave. Um, just change the axial to negative, and then re-simulate this. There you go. You can see it's actually wrapping it. Works really well. It doesn't do it in any good order, but it looks really good when it's done. I was engraving some anodized tubes, black hard anodized. They look pretty good. That's the gist of it. 
It's the only really way I found it to work for mill turn. It's a lot easier to do in the mill.